Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel and today I will be reacting to the fourth episode of One of Us is Lying and I am really, really loving this show and you know what I really love the most as well is that my reactions are helping people find this show and I've seen a few comments on these videos like thank you for introducing this show to me because I'm so excited about it. So this is really, really happy for me and um, at the end of the, the last episode, all the secrets had kind of come out and we were diving a little bit more into the mystery of everything. Um, so I love how they keep ending this epi these episodes on such like interesting moments that I'm ex so excited to continue into this fourth episode. Um, obviously four, five and six all dropped um, in the last 24 hours by the time I post this video. So gonna kind of keep it as similar to last week as possible where the three episodes will get posted before the final two drop next week um i promise i'll do my best um but yeah i hope you guys are excited and let's get into it simon what the fuck how old are you too oh, sorry post okay so something i forgot to mention in my like intro was that each episode kind of focused on a character and I couldn't really figure out if episode one was focused on a character, but definitely episode two and three were focused on characters. And my, from memory, we had Coop and we had Addy. So the only two people left are Nate and Bronwyn, and I'm guessing this one's about Nate, because we have a Nate, a Nate flashback. Wait, don't you think those assholes deserve to be named and shamed? Like, it's simple. I don't want your money. Oh, in that post. Great advertising. I just got a ton of new customers. Suspect? Four of his own class. While police have not made an official statement on the matter, my sources tell me that it's true. Stay tuned. That dead ass all my name right, Stan. Yes, Stan. I love that I'm watching this show on a platform called Stan. Is that why you look like that? Mom, I don't the media is singling you out as the beauty of the group. I wouldn't want to make you look bad, would I? Oh, she got the bike to school. That cop's questioning Jake. Tag post saying we all conspired together. Same. The baby four theory. Right, Ooh. where Bone wins the brains, Cooper's the brawn. Pretty cool how they've gone the whole Bay View 4 and um, pretty iconic of how they're labelled as well and we, we can obviously address the whole Breakfast Club connections to all of this um, which starts in the detention scene but it goes so far beyond that as well like the cover of the novel has like the th the four things that they are and they are so I clearly identified in these roles um and that the fact that they come as a group and um I guess that they are in the show element they are really focusing and elevating that element um I'm just laughing at myself the way I'm phrasing all of this that that element in the show they're making them like you are famous like it is big news you're screwed like all of that element is so heavily focused and i guess it makes sense with the title one of us is famous but um yeah it's pretty cool it's very in time it's already dealing with so much bronwyn but i have to ask about this rumor that you cheated in chemistry it's a totally baseless accusation. I've never cheated in any subject. Chance of somebody coming forward for their 15 minutes of fame is not small. If we find any evidence to corroborate this post, or the fact that you've been dealing drugs at all while on probation, that's jail time. Oh, no. If you did nothing wrong, there's nothing to worry about. Fact is, they all did something wrong. I can't not worry. He's vibing with that so, pink shirt, though. The way in sight. Of your boyfriend's amazing abs. <laughs> <laughs> what? The mind of the stresses of the day. It's safe. 
Kevin is it's very just sweet. Not that easy. Yeah. If you just give me a chance, call me back. Oh yeah, because at the end of the last episode, he full kissed Keely in like the end of the game, and it was all the public like publicized news story and all of that, and um, he was really hurt by it. Um, so this is the fallout, and oh, it's pushing him further towards that coming out phase. More and more with more people. More answers. Told you it would be. You didn't tell me it was going to be positive for painkillers. Uh oh. I thought they were just testing for steroids. No. They did a full panel. You want to tell me how long this has been going on? It was just adopted back in Mississippi. <sighs> Thank you. No. That's dangerous, too. The last thing we need is for people to be digging into your past. What's that media gets a hold of? I know. What do you I know? Oh, yeah, that whole Mississippi stuff, too. Wow. Like, there's like rabbit holes of like facts and dirty secrets that there's these four have and it's see it makes it the show the show is all about hidden secrets and someone having the power to just expose expose like pretty lies did like gossip girl does like all those shows have that underlying tone and that like hooks me all the time because you're like when is it going to expose when is it going to happen i don't know It's not the right time though. No. It's not the right time for him. And that's okay. Close to us in the media is turning this into some true crime must-see TV crap. So we have to make sure we're on the same page. Let me get- I'm just the blonde one. I need help. Can we talk about Addie's mood in this whole episode? She's completely gone, whatever. They're saying I'm beauty in the news, so how about I portray something completely different? I feel like she is a girl that is going through a breakup right now, too. And I think visually, they are really demonstrating her slowly falling apart. And I kind of love that because you don't really put it together in this episode, right? She's being told she's beautiful. She's the blonde. She's all of that in this baby four. But she's demonstrating something completely different to us in a visual format of her wardrobe. And... Um, I think that's really interesting to, to observe and to see, and I'm very curious whether they keep going with it or if I've just made something completely up. And you said they were fighting about the app. Yeah, they were fighting, but not enough for her to kill him over it. Yeah, I don't think it was just... Not to mention that Maeve knows the, wouldn't know the passwords too. If about... anything new to say about us, we give them something on Janae, maybe they'll run with it and they won't go through our trash. I actually agree. I'm trying to be on ESPN. Not TMZ. Ha. I won't fuck it up. Oh, Addies. I'm gonna show you until you tell me where you were. Yeah, Maeve. <laughs> She's got that power. I found it in the back of his drafts. Simon wrote that the same day that he wrote the post about you and I changed Cooper's secret and my guess is that that's somewhere. The point where you're thinking about, hang on, that wasn't Cooper's secret because, you know, we know he is a bit, or he is done. Um, but like, someone actively changed to protect Cooper and now that I kind of think about it, knowing who the killer is, I just remembered why that makes sense to me and a detail that when I was reading the book, didn't put two and two together. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Okay, hold on. Slow down. What did the original post say? It doesn't matter. The point is that whoever changed Cooper's post in it after some... The real post says that, um, he's gay. Oh. Wow. Huh. In my brain, it's just playing ping pong with itself. I actually have a trick for that. I don't want drugs. Huh. No. When I can't stop thinking about something I don't want to think about, I watch horror movies. Yeah, I mean, you kind of got my head spinning too, Rojas. <laughs> I'm gonna send you a link. You ready? Yeah. 
That transition, yo! Vanessa, what's wrong with you? Uh, hey, Janae, right? Yeah. Also, his look is such a vibe right now, like, maybe not the vibe is the right word, it looks, he looks very good right now, um, but who wears jeans to a pool? Like, I know it's stylish for him right now, but who freaking wears jeans to a pool? I can't even. Drugs, please. Drugs, just miserable. Oh, it was her, hey. You can keep change. No or maybe we should start at the beginning. What led you to sell drugs in the first place? Was it your father's PTSD or what happened with your mother? Oh my god. Fuck you. Did that actually happen? She made a TikTok. Also, I don't want to be critical, but she filmed like this and posted like this. Just saying, but oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Bitches, it's literally so viral. I'm the only one that can do anything around me. She's bugging me right now. It's an oxymoron. You don't have to call me names. It's not what oxymoron means. I know. So now let's talk to reporters. Because I want you to look less guilty. You can present here today. I noticed. I found out where he went to school in Mississippi. Nate's making a fake Instagram account so she can see if she can talk to anyone who knew him. Huh. There is no point in arguing with you about this, is there? No, you just gotta play along and protect her. <laughs> ordering. When Jake and I would go out to eat, we would split two things, and he had stronger opinions about food, so he would order it for us. And you expose the hypocrites, and you encourage people to be more real. I know you Jake would get carried away too. Like at parties, he'd be giving someone shit and thinks he's being funny, but we both lost our best friends. The men that we were in love with, and I'm so glad that I have someone to talk about this with, and... First of all, I wasn't in love with Simon. I'm gay, which you might know if you ever paid attention to anyone other than yourself and... Ooh. Actually, you know what? I am very sorry. I totally forgot that detail too. I feel like I knew that from the book as well. And it's just something that completely slipped my mind. Why did it slip my mind? I don't even know, but there we go. Revelation, people. I'm sorry. I was just, fuck you. Addy. That was a very good delivery. F you, Addy. Let me talk about it. That's it? Mm-hmm. He didn't say anything else? Nope. 15 minutes and it's been radio. No, 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 no. How does he know what happened? Oof. What? Oh, uh, that's awkward. We could watch it together. And bonus, you can meet my lizard. Uh, excuse me? Uh, that, that wasn't a line. I actually have... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. I bet you he tried that. He's tried that one before, though. <laughs> She's doing the whole thing. I know what it's like for people to assume the worst about you. I just need you to trust me. Tell us why we're here. I can tell you guys about what happened with Janae. No, no. It's like, who? Travis figured it out. Oh. It wasn't very hard. He did a reverse image search and found her real Instagram. And your sister happens to follow her. And then I heard the cops were at your house this morning and I just... But you could have asked me instead of catfishing my friend like a psycho. You weren't at school. <laughs> he had a heart attack this morning. That's, That's why the police were at my house. They came with the. He could have died not knowing who his son is. What are you talking about? Of course he knows who you are. No, he doesn't. None of you do. Oh, Coop. I'm gay. 
Okay, I, and I tell myself I'm in the closet just because the day is bald, but then why can't I tell my dad, right? Hey. Oh, give him a hug. You're not a coward. Someone hug him right now. Really? Sorry. Please hug the poor boy. Look, you guys, all of our lives are <laughs> total messes, man. <laughs> it's a great point. No! No! Oh. Oh. Put it together! Put it together! Put it together! Put it together! I knew that hoodie was gonna be important. I don't even know if there's a guy. Oh, there's a guy. About that. Oh my god! Your four favorite murder suspects held a secret midnight meeting. <sighs> Are they choosing their next victim? Oh! 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 The ramifications for that! Guys, everyone's gonna know that they're lying. Cops, parents, people at school. Not to mention, in order to get out of... To go to that meeting, Bronwyn had to probably lie to Evan. Because they were going on a date. Which then brings up the whole Nate situation. Because we know there's tension there. And there's like that sweet little horror movie bonding. That I bet Evan doesn't know about. It's not what it looks like. Oh, it's a little no. bit. Is it Photoshop? Well, no. I, I, this was last night. I thought you said that you were sick. Oh! I, I don't think I can. That relationship's tanked. Especially me. Okay, so he did know a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Evan. You were nice while it lasted. You got to show. You just. You gave her views of your abs and strawberries and beach times, but deep down all she wanted to do was watch horror movies with Nate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know that they established like the relationship in the show where it doesn't really happen in the book. Um, so I kind of knew it was going to end somehow. I like how they integrated it in the story though, the way they presented that because she's in a relationship, but she's growing closer to Nate and that whole sequence, I think that was a really nice little adaption and ad yeah, addition to the story. I can't do I don't think you realize how serious this is. Of course I do. I'm mean, to the start acting like it. Cops at the door. <laughs> that's the cops. Mr. Rojas. Yes. We have a warrant to search your home. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. This officer wants to look for your shit. Any surprises? Yes, sir. For sure. Cool, Shaq. Not to mention, literally, how the cops treated walking into Nate's place and Broman's place compared to their place. Guys. Call Dad. You officer? What are you yeah. looking for? The warrants have to be for something specific. Anything related to Simon's murder? Literally, think about the people that they've sent to each place. Nate got a sniffer dog. Addy got literally one person. Cooper got two scary kind of looking cops, and then Bronwyn's cops were a bit more like chill and on the older bracket that maybe not wouldn't make as much reaction. That's a detail. Shall I have a TV? <laughs> Boy, you came prepared. Wasn't that his case, though? Can you turn it on, officer? That's okay. That's not something that's left. Go on. Do you think of anything else that could be helpful? Call me. You can do the help. She knew what to do. She understood the assignment. I hope you were paying attention. That's how you treat the police if you want them on your side. You want me? This is your 15 minutes of fame. You're the blonde beauty, Addie. You need to start embracing that. You should be going to school every day, looking for an influencer. Oh this my god. A real future, baby. How is this actually coming out of her mouth? You're right. 
I guess I really hadn't been looking for the upside to all of this. He doesn't need any more stress, which is why we're not going to tell him about this. Yeah, that's good. More lies. We got to let him recover. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Don't worry about me. I'm going to be fine. Cool. Yes! <laughs> Nate, you did Coop a solid dude. Love ya for life. Ah, yes! <laughs> so good. So good. Okay, um, well, I think a, a little bob could look good. No, shorter. I don't know. That was the perfect placement of that Halsey song. She's like, I want it gone. I'm a nightmare. Oh, yes. And you guys know, I'm like a humongous Halsey fan. Um, still can't get over her latest album. And I love Nightmare. The craziness of Nightmare. The back layer of that scene. That makes it. Made that scene even better. I'm gonna tell you. Where? We'll literally kill you. I'm already grounded. They're already gonna kill me over the photo. How much worse can I get? Look what I found. Okay, just because someone cries and tells you that their dad had a heart attack doesn't mean that they're not a murderer. Maeve, if anyone has reason to bring this thing to the cops, it's me. Okay? I love how they um support each other. Cry. And over this time, they grow so so close together with each other and it's just so special and beautiful and important. Gonna be a good one. Sure will be. Dang time. What happened to Janae was your fault. You didn't No, you're the one who sold her enough pills to kill her. So everyone's gonna find out. Look, man, when are you gonna realize that I don't give a shit what you write about me? Whatever it is, I'm gonna find out. And I'm gonna destroy you with it. Mm. Literally, Nate had the most motive. Yeah. Does it feel great? <laughs> Thanks, murder. You're standing on the edge of a cliff with me. Also, a suspect's murder. Maybe we're both idiots. <laughs> you? You are ridiculous, you know that? It concerns me that you're avoiding a promise not to murder me. To murder you. <laughs> what? Naughty girl. Oh, his hard drive. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's his mom, isn't it? Nathaniel. Whoa. Mom? Oh. Who's the dog there? What an episode. Right on cue though, right? Right on cue, they end us with a tease to tie it, tie it, tie it, ugh, take us into the next episode, which talks us about Nate's, Nate's mom, which is pretty interesting considering we did get a little bit of like hints across Nate's past in this episode. Um, I really did like the flashbacks for Nate this episode. Um, it continued kind of filling in select scenes of the pre-pool party scenes, I guess. The main flashback, no, sorry. Yeah, they kind of all kind of co cover that pool party that a lot of stuff went on. And then also the day, I'm, I'm, I meant the day of school, that first day of school. And showing Simon interact with pretty much all of them prior to coming into detention and they all really they all had a motive but Nate's is probably the most intense so far which I guess we aren't 
we shouldn't really be surprised about that considering all the stuff that he was writing about Nate, but it kind of makes a great reasoning for why there's been so many posts about Nate. Like he was hammering Nate's secrets out and it's pretty much to protect his best friend, right? And he called for a mission of revenge the day he died. So the fact that Nate, which who I don't think actually did it, if I'm talking from a perspective when I'm reading the book, I didn't really think Nate ever did it purely because he sacrifices that one piece of evidence that possibly could exonerate him in the laptop, but also could make him guilty as well. Who knows? But that one little bit of thing could have protected him, and he sacrificed that purely because of Cooper. And that just shows you none of the four of them actually did it, right? Um, and you really, I really feel felt. Nate's innocence and I guess the flashbacks and like the story having that tinge perspective of the Bayview 4 each one so far in the episodes kind of highlight further their innocence and just re-acknowledging the audience that they are innocent they're just caught up with some really bad ass stuff um so yeah I think this episode I'm gonna say this now not that I'm gonna reveal anything but if they keep the trajectory of who killed Simon from the book, this episode actually hints a couple of things. Possibly. I see some threads starting in this episode. Um, not going to explain what threads I see. I might, if I remember it, when I'm making my eighth episode for this, or the eighth episode reaction, I could bring it up, but... Definitely saw some things in this episode and went, oh, if they keep the same story, I see it in this episode that I didn't see when I was reading the book at this point. So, very interesting and it should make you more excited to stay engaged with these videos because then you get to find that answer. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this reaction. I am still loving it. We're halfway through the series now, so it keeps going in a good way. I'm excited to flesh out Nate's mum story next week too and in the next episode i can wait five seconds um anyway please give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below and make sure to click subscribe because i am still on that trajectory to get to 10k so you need to be a part of the couch club join subscribe be a part of it it's a place to be i'll see you guys next time bye